Anyway, we're going to end up solving for t over in the distance formula. But everyone gets all worried because there's no numbers. And I would argue that probably the numbers make it harder. Because not only do you have to figure out what operation you're going to do, but then you actually have to get the number part right when you do the operation. When we take all the numbers away, then it doesn't matter what the division or the multiplication or the subtraction actually gives you because you're just going to combine like terms. So I think this is actually should be easier if you're really good at solving equations, and I just found out that you guys are. So that's pretty good. But anyway, we're going to start on the one on the left. 7 equals 9t. If you wanted to solve for t, that means get it by itself, and so then what would you do? What? So that means it's 9 times t, right? So then what, what are you going to do? Divide. Okay, so then you divide both sides by 9. Then you get, and then don't worry about it, right? It's just a fraction. I mean, if you can reduce the fraction, great. Otherwise, you just leave it as 7 over 9 equals t. Is that okay? Right, that's no big deal. So then you go move over to this next one, right? D equals 9 times t. And I still want to solve for t. You just divide again. You just divide again, okay. That seems easy enough, right? Divide by 9. And so then, what is t equal? D over 9, yeah, right. Right, don't make this harder than it is, that's just what it is. Can't reduce that at all. Okay, we still want to get t by itself, so then what are you going to do? Divide by r, okay, so then you just write it like this, right? So then t equals what? D over r. D over r. Okay. This kind of stuff is used all the time, right? I mean, if you want to know a bunch of time, if you know distances and you want to know how fast people were going, or and you knew how fast people were going, you could figure out how, how long it took them to get there. But you don't want to plug it into the original equation every time. Just solve for t, and then you plug it in there, and you know what's going on. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, we got the volume formula. We're going to do it one step at a time. If it was... Volume equals 30, and then the length is 6, and the width is 2. How would we find the height? Would you oh. do a decimal on this? Uh, yeah, you might. I just made these numbers up pretty quickly. So. Do like 6 times 2. Okay, so what is 6 times 2? 12. Okay, so then this is 30 equals 12H. Yeah, and then divide by 12 on each side. Okay, good. And then Okay, yeah, so for the most part, if you just leave it 30 over 12. Yeah, and, or you can reduce that. That reduces to what? 2.5 probably, um, so I do it by 6, so it'd be 5 over 2, yeah, so 2.5. Okay, so, and this is kind of what I was saying before, look at all the places you can mess up here, right? What if you mismultiply? What if you reduce wrong? Okay, so that's why I'm, I, I think these are actually probably easier, but maybe not. So, right, all we did, we multiplied, then divided, got h by itself. Okay, so what about this next one? What, do we, what would we do over here? We still need to get h by itself. And what, what's the operation going on right here? Yeah, it's 6 times w times height, right? Or what times height. Okay, so then what's the office operation that we're going to use? Division. Okay, so you can do this in one step if you're really keen up on it, but if you're not, you can do it in two steps. That's fine. So what do you want to do first? Or, all, you know, like I said, it can be one step. You can just do it all at once. Do you, like, divide H and W, or can you divide, like, all three at once? You can divide by as many things as you want at once, that's, that's for sure. But we don't want to mess with H at all, though, right? Because we want to leave that alone. Okay. So let's do something. Divide 6 and W, right? So you can divide 6 and W at the same time, yeah. Does that make sense? Is that okay with everyone? Mm -hmm. Right, there's, not, oops, there's nothing wrong with doing that at all, because they're all being multiplied, so you can just divide them all at once. So then H equals, uh, careful, well, well, okay, so if you can divide it, you should divide it. So what is 30 divided by 6? Okay, so then 5 over W, okay, so leave that W down there, right? But again, right, there's places that you can make a mistake. You know, if you do 30 over 6 wrong, you get, a, you know, 5 in the denominator or something, then it went badly. 
But this last one, right, we're still going to get H by itself, so what are you going to do? Okay, divide everything by L and W. And so then what does H equal? Ah, uh, that's no. Yeah. Right. Like. And now that's it. There's nothing else you need to do. And again, if you were solving a bunch of problems for height and you already have it set up, then you're just plugging in numbers and simplifying, and that's not too bad. Is that okay? All right, so we got to get L by itself. So let's leave L alone. Let's move other things. And you could do this in one step, but it's probably easier to do this in two steps. Subtract W. What about that 2 with it? Two okay, so let's start off and do that. We subtract 2W. So now we have 2H plus L equals what? That's right, because they're not like terms, right? So, I mean, you can't do anything. You just say it and then write it. I'm subtracting 2w, so then p minus 2w. Then you subtract 2h. So how would you have done that in one step? Okay, let me talk about that here in a second. But what is the final answer here? L equals p minus 2w. Subtract 2h. Minus 2h also, yeah. Okay. So if you wanted to do this all in one step, um, here, I'll, um, let me rewrite it here. What do we need to subtract? Because, right, I mean, this is a positive and this is a positive. Let's just change it to negatives. So, yeah, and so there's a way that we can do that if you think of kind of like distribution. Because we can, we can take this whole group. Like, for instance, you could say, well, I want to subtract this whole group right here. And so then you maybe you would write it like this. And so then you would have L equals P minus parentheses 2W plus 2H. Is that the same as what we got before? Why? Yeah, right, because that's exactly right, because this, this, this thing really gets distributed, right? So it's minus, minus. So it is the same thing, and so this is also correct. So you could do it in one step. I, I doubt you'd want to do that one in one step, but maybe you know, if you're really up on it, then you can. Is that okay? All right.